Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan and if like me you like to be organised then you might be interested in this next review. This is the Nest from Orbit Key. Well, what is the Nest and who are Orbit Key? Well, Orbit Key are well known for their key organizers. One of the best ways out there at the moment to carry particularly flat keys. And Orbit Key branched out into other product areas, one of which is the Nest, which we're going to review in a minute. And they are well known for great design and high quality. So the Nest is a portable desk organizer. I'm going to go into what that means in a little bit more detail in a moment, but let's have a look how it comes in the box. The first thing to say is the packaging is absolutely A1. It looks fantastic. It's really well presented. You've got this kind of matte white and this spot varnish finish here. It says what it does on the box. It's uh, got a red dot award in 2021. So um, it's not just me who likes the design. And then the flap opens to revealing pictures, what it does and how it looks. And if you're giving this as a gift, this really adds to the value. The product slides out and then simply pops out. Let's be organized is the slogan. So let's have a closer look at the nest. So we've got this leather finish on the top, which is really nice. This uh, elasticated strap holds the lid in place. And there's also a loop here that can take a pen. You will notice we have a USB-C port here. And that's because this area of the Nest is a wireless charging pad. So this adds to the functionality. You can not only use it for carrying products to and from your place of work, but you can also use this as a kind of base for charging your phone. And then you'll notice we've got a recess in the top here, and that is a valet tray. So this is where you can put your bits and pieces when you set this down. So I would have this in my office at home, and um, I would uh, leave perhaps my wallet and keys and perhaps if I had a, a few coins and that could be ready to go back into my pocket when uh, when I'm gathering up all my things to leave the house. One of the features I like most about the Nest is the way it opens. It opens in two ways. You can simply lift the top off but say, for example, you are stood in the street and you suddenly need to get this out of your bag, then you can open it like a book and it opens like that. And it's held in place with this really neat hinge bungee system. And that means you can hold it with one hand and get access to all your gear. And you might want to sit it on your desk that way and then you've still got access to everything. If you wanted to use the charging base, you can do that. But if you wanted to use the charging base and the valet tray and have access to the contents at the same time, then just lift it off and have it like that. So it's really flexible in the way it works. And I really like that level of functionality. Inside the case, as it comes, it's nicely presented with the way it works, with some ideas about what you might want to put in there. Let's open this up. So what do we have overall? We've got the lid and the base, and then we have a USB-A to USB-C cable. This is for the wireless charging. And then we also have the dividers that go inside, of which there are six, and then a couple of uh, Velcro cable tidies. Now the way the dividers work is you push them down quite hard like that, and then they are held by Velcro in this sort of soft base and therefore you can position what you want in any way you want using these dividers. It's a single layer way of organizing your gear. And then the idea is no matter how you kind of shake it around and move it about, everything is in place so you know where everything is. The other useful benefit of that is if you are leaving your place of work or maybe a train or a cafe, then if you see a gap here, you know you've left something behind. So that's kind of a useful reminder and one of the benefits of having a space for all your gear. There's a bit of weight to it, but not too much. You'll notice it's really tough as well. So if things are getting squashed in your bag, your gear in here is not going to get crushed, which is worth bearing in mind as well. The way this fastens with this bungee cord also has a benefit. And that is, as you travel, you could put in, say, for example, a notebook here. So you've got a notebook, you've got a pen, and I think that makes a really nice way of carrying your gear. 
and you know if you've got that then you've got everything with you okay the wireless charging base is powered by USB-C cable there's no light or anything to say that it's charging but if we get a phone and put it on there you will see it is now charging as you would expect the charger here is a 10 watt charger and this is a wireless charging base I use in the office and I've noticed this is also 10 watts so I think it's kind of a standard charging power for a wireless charger. So who is the Orbit Key for? Well if you're like me then this could be for you. I like to be really organized and I like to have everything in one place and when I leave home to go to the office sometimes I might go to a cafe to do some work or I might be on the train and if I can just make sure if I pick up my tech kit and I've got it with me in the bag then I know I've got everything I need. At the moment I already have a solution to that which is the tech kit from Bellroy. So I've done a review of this in a separate video. If you want to see that just follow that link there. So I'm interested to know how it compares. This is the bigger of the two tech kits that Bellroy do. I'm not going to get as much in because I can see already there's pretty much twice the space in here than there is in the orbit key but if i can get enough of the essential gear in here then that might do it for me so let's have a look at moving some things across i'm going to take the lid off and start to move across the things i need the most so i've now got it exactly how i would want it it did take a while to work out all the different bits because you're only on one layer it's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle and you have to think hard about where everything goes and if you have too much bulk in the lid or any bulk at all to be honest then that impacts on the internal space of the the base itself let me show you how i've got it and uh, i'm actually really happy with the way it's worked out so on the top here we have a notepad which I use every day. I put a pen in here. Now I did think about a space pen which I uh, carry in some kits but it's actually quite loose the way that slides in and out. So you could imagine if you catch this wrong you could lose the pen. I don't mind if I lose that because I've, I buy box loads of them. And then inside it looks like this so let's have a look in the main base itself I've got this mains adapter which I've shown before in a previous video it's compact um, for a UK plug it folds out which is really nice and it folds flat it's a 15 watt output which is quite a lot for a plug this size and it's USB-C so that fits in there and then a power bank I always carry a power bank. I was originally using this flat Otterbox one which is 5000 milliamp power but it just wasn't really making the most of the space because it used up a lot of, uh, of the surface area inside and there wasn't a lot of thin stuff I could find to go on top. But I ended up using this Anker 10,000 milliamp power battery pack which is great so that is currently sitting in there now most of the rest of the space is taken up by cables so I've got a USB-C to USB-C that's great for going from this mains adapter to the wireless charger built into the Orbit Key Nest it also plugs straight into my laptop so that's kind of really important I also have some ear pods in here that fits in the space where the cables go then I've got a USB-C to lightning so I can charge my phone directly if I need to. Then I've got the USB-A to USB-C that the Orbit Key Nest came with. So if you're in a cafe or on a train for example you, you sometimes find there's USB-A's available and this would allow me to either charge my MacBook or use the wireless charging so that's a useful cable and then I've got one last cable here which is USB-A to micro USB so I still have a few things that use micro USB 
and it's always handy to have one of those. But also this current anchor power bank I use actually recharges by micro USB. So it's always good to have a micro USB cable. In the lid here, there's this really useful netting flexible storage space here. And in here, I've got a card reader, USB-C to SD and micro SD. I've also got a backup flashlight, which is a Phoenix 03R. Very lightweight, very bright. So that's a nice one to carry. And then I've also got the USB stick here, which can work directly into USB-A or if I want it for usb see I can plug it into there like that. What I've noticed is if I put anything in this sort of netted area here which is really great to have it eats into this space so this mains adapter is relatively thin and that's important because anything in here that has any depth to it potentially will interfere with what's going on here and the lid won't close. And then I've also got a uh, SD to micro SD adapter. I've got a notepad, which is a write in the rain credit card size notepad for emergencies. And I've also got some business cards in here. So let's put it back. Clearly, if I can get everything back, easily then we know this thing's working so let's do that so that's all looking good I believe I had that about there that there and then that just slotted in about here so that all looks great um, you'll notice I've not used all the spaces I've only used two I mean it's good to have those if we need it but you you don't need to use the spaces. It depends on how you lay the thing out. And then the lid on here fits fine. And if I wanted to, I can open it in the book format or I can do it like that. So there we have it. So I know if I've got this, I've got everything I need to get by and I can put that under there. So I really like the way this has worked out. In terms of what am I missing out of my Bellroy tech kit, I've got a little first aid kit which will fit in here. I'm going to transfer that across. These are the only two things that I haven't put in here. The highlights pen I'm sure I could fit if I really wanted to but I'm not using it that much so it's not such an issue. The mains adapter, this is a heavier duty bigger one and it's got more outputs on it. That could be useful in all honesty but I'm going to see if I can get by with just a single power output from that one. Uh, this has quite a bit of weight to it as well, so it'd be probably good not to have to carry that. And that's the only things I'm really missing here as it stands right now. So this is working really well for me. I'm just going to add the first aid kit and see if that works in here. OK, so I've added a few bits there from the first aid kit, just really plasters and antibacterial. Let's see if that fits. So there we have it. You can shake things around and then when you get back to them everything's where you would expect it to be. So I'm going to run with this for a while. I really like it. In terms of where it's going to go, let's have a look in my backpack. As some of you will know, I use the Bellroy work pack and this is still working really well for me. Uh, six months after I first started using it and for me the laptop goes in here really well and then the tech kit normally goes in there and the question is will this fit in there and the answer is yes. From a price perspective in the UK you can buy this and it's about £95 so this is not a cheap solution. The Bellroy uh, tech kit by comparison is around about half that price. So it does cost more but you are getting something unique with the addition of the wireless charging and I really like the quality and the design and the way it all works. I should say that this video is not sponsored but I would like to thank Orbit Key for sending out the sample of the Nest for me to review. So there you have it, the Nest from Orbit Key. I hope you found that useful. 
If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps. Uh, you can do that here by clicking this link. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.